At first she was afraid, she was petrified, thinking she could never live without you by her side. And then she spent so many nights thinking how you did her wrong. And then she grew strong. She learned how to get along. Now you see her. You better. Somebody knew. She's not that same old little person still in love with you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Puffy, puffy, puffy. Daddy love, brother love. How about brother time then caught up with you? Okay, now the jig is up. How about that? Anyway, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to this mental house. With me, your host, Khadija. Okay, um, this is, I was waiting on this one. I knew Cassie had some get back in her because he wants you been allegedly abused that way. And you find your out, you take it. And she took it. And I knew when she got with, when she laid down with the trainer and came up with the baby, she was done with you. And you knew it too. And you should have also knew that your world was going to come to an end because of all the alleged dirt, physical abuse, graping, and just sinister, devilish behavior that you had put forth on that woman. So Diddy ordered ex-girlfriend to hire black male prostitutes and cover herself in oil while he filmed the trysts that he called freakouts at hotels, including Trump International in New York City, lawsuit claim. See, a lot of powerful rich men, they, they don't have no respect for us, or they don't, and you know, and th that's period. And so for you to get caught up in this, I'm just glad you got out with your life. Because, see, a lot of times they do stuff like Ray Carew. Um, you get pregnant. I don't want you pregnant. I'm going to find somebody to kill you. Because these are not developed men. These are whole boys. Bitch boys or what you call um, fuck boys. This is the kind of behavior they do. I don't care how much money they got. I don't care about none of that. They have a total disrespect for women. And, and and when you find a man putting himself in everybody, I mean, just slanging peen every dang on place he can and making babies with every woman, most of the time those guys, you know, I'm not saying all, but a lot of times those are guys that I suspect anyway. I've been around long enough to know that nobody in their right mind go to have all these damn kids with all these damn women and have all that feminine energy coming off of you with jealousy with because you know how women can be we the black widow spider so I, I'm not trying to be, you know put us up on no pedestal what I'm saying the nature of a woman and for you to sit back and impregnate a whole bunch of them I already think you suspect anyway in my opinion I'm just going to tell you, and from my experience, well over 50 years of it, most of them be punk, but I mean, be gay. Just, just keep it real. And they trying to hide, or they being forced to behave in some kind of way that they don't want to. Those are your real punks. See, that's, that's what them, them are. Okay? But a man that's confident, whether he gay or straight, in what he do, he ain't going to do that. He, he going to stand on what he is. Okay? So I'm so glad that Cassie filed a lawsuit in Manhattan's federal district court. And she accused Diddy of 
all kinds of stuff. Great physical, repeated physical abuse. She claimed he forced her to have that with multiple male um, whores while he watched, masturbated, and recorded. Cassie was allegedly cried to dress up in lingerie, wear white nail polish to contrast with the skin of a black sex worker, and cover herself in oil. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all don't know what Kim went through. Kim, if she could speak from beyond the grave. And that's why she's in the grave. See, because that's what happens when you don't have no scruples, no morals, and you just out there lawlessly. Um, no respect for humanity. No respect for women. I don't care about you got daughters and you got mamas. You don't respect your mama either because I don't know what she showed you, okay? I don't know, and most boys, when they see their mama get trounced out, that's the first woman they fall in love with. And when they see that, they don't have no more respect for women, okay? They just don't. They just don't. If you find a man that's got a lot of respect for her mama, she's carried herself in a way. She's put him first. She's put her family first. And you can bet. <laughs> listen. Listen. I, there's certain part of scripture I really believe. You know? I know the parts that been. I'm spiritually attuned enough to know the, 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 the scriptures that are sent by the ancient ancestors. Or the scripture that makes sense to be the heart of the creator. And some stuff that somebody put in for my control. You know, because if you really have are leading in the right direction and you take it back, you already see that the all the ancient kings and queens, the 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 man is just slightly ahead of her. Not that he's trying to dominate her. He he's slightly ahead of her. They almost perpendicular with the shoulders almost. He might be slightly an inch or two in front to let you know that he will protect his woman. He gonna protect his kingdom. Who's the most important piece on the chessboard? Okay, and most developed men know that. A underdeveloped man don't know that at all. And he just see he just see her as a cum bucket, because that's all he is. And that's what it seems to be the story of the music mogul Sean Diddy Combs. He has been accused of forcing his ex-girlfriend to order male prostitutes with large black penises to fulfill his voyeurism fantasy. Boy, look at here. All this getting ready to come out in court. You are you're going down. I'm sorry. Let me, let me stop. Let me stop. Let me get back on this. <coughs> Y'all excuse me because I'm just coming over a little cold. But anyway, she filed this lawsuit in federal district court on Thursday in which she accused the rapper of every damn thing you can think of except for murder. She claimed that Diddy 54 controlled and abused her for over a decade as well as Supplying as well as plying her with drugs, beating her, forcing her to have sex. Oh man, 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 not good, not good. Um, it is it, is insane. He called the alleged sexual exploitation freakouts. That's what he called them. Cassie was allegedly required to dress up in lingerie. Do all kinds of crazy. Um, the pair met in 2005 when she was 19 and split in 2018. Diddy has vehemently denied all of the offensive and outrageous allegations. I'm sure you is. I'm sure you are. I wouldn't dare expect you to say I did it. I wouldn't expect you. I mean... Here it is. I mean, it's sitting right here. It 
case one two three uh, uh one hundred ninety eight document f- file uh eleven sixteen twenty three United States District of Court Southern District Cassandra Ventura that's the plaintiff versus Sean Bab. Uh, Bad Boy Entertainment, Bad Boy Records, Epic Records, Combs Enterprises, all y'all about to come down. Okay? Um, The plaintiff uh, hereby alleges as for her, her complaint against defendant Sean Combs. Ooh, Lord, you. Number one, this is her preliminary statement. Defendant Sean Combs is a rapper and record a record executive popularly known by stage name Diddy or P. Diddy. Mr. Combs came to fame in the early 1990s with his record label Bad Boys. Um, and with that deal he made with everybody know, the Honorable Clive Davis. <laughs> in 2022, Mr. Combs received a Lifetime Achievement Award. BT. I want to give a special shout out. Thank you, love, to the people that are really there for me. He named a number of people before adding, and also Cassie, for holding me down in the dark times. Love. Uh huh. Because you felt it, didn't you? Among the serious allegations is that Diddy. Sex trafficked Cassie, now 37, to male prostitutes while he watched for sexual pleasure. The lawsuit claims that she was directed to cover herself with oil and have sex with multiple men, sometimes with masks and costumes. It states that the music executive who she first met as a teenager told her it would turn him on to if he saw her with another, you know. He allegedly hired a man and brought him to his home to engage in these acts with Cassie. Mr. Combs directed Mrs. Ventura to perform sexual acts with this man while Mr. Combs watched them. See, and once you did it, he had already lost respect for you anyway. Now you just somebody that he just want to continue to use that way. That's that's who he is. Uh, these encounters lasted multiple days, she said. She claims that he got drunk during the freak off around March 16th and punched her in the face, leaving her with a black eye. She said she tried to leave the hotel room when he fell asleep, but he woke up and began screaming at her like a bad horror monster movie. He allegedly grabbed at her, took the glass vases in the hallway, and threw them at her, causing the glass to crash around them as she ran to the elevator to escape. She managed to escape to her apartment, but claimed she returned over fears he would be even angrier. When she returned, hotel security staff urged her to get back into a cab and go to her apartment, suggesting that they had seen the footage showing Mr. Cone was beating her and throwing glass at her. She alleged that Diddy paid the hotel staff 50000 for the hallway security footage from that evening. On another occasion in 2013, see, when a man got that much money, and this one, you better listen to Corey Crazy Holcomb when he say that. Most people will sell themselves out for a mess of pottage. And that's just the nature. And because women want security, that's how they wired. She's wired that way. That's why when you find somebody that has all the trimmings and the likings of somebody with money, you know, we fall, we fall ahead. We fall into the trap, hook, line, and sinker. 
Cassie was expected to facilitate the location and hiring of male workers for the freak-offs, according to the lawsuit. Let me tell you something. When when I was in back in the day when I was in the music business and I was I was very young because I signed um a a, a pretty lucrative contract when I was an early teenager um and I remember getting involved with an older person because everybody you know is is bothering young people anyway. This is a big turn on for most executives and people in the music business, especially when they don't know what to do with you because you sound so old or whatever the case is. But to make a long story short, I got involved with a puffy type. And this guy, this person who went on to spend time in Michigan City, Michigan prison. Had me running drugs from one side of the country to the next without me knowing. But it was part of what his work detail was, and he just passed it on to us. Now, here I am, a, a kid and a singer. What am I doing putting myself in that position? Okay? Um, a lot of times we do dumb things and we don't understand why. And I, like I said, I don't. I, I, my heart goes out to Cassie. I'm not sitting here judging her. Because like I said, most women want security. And when they find themselves inv involved in somebody that they think they can feel secure with, and they run off to the races like this, then it's hell night trying to get out. It really is. Um. Some of my older videos, I talk about that. I talk about him, uh, them sitting up on the property, waiting on me with uh, rifles and 30 hour 16s, waiting to shoot me and all types of stuff because they figured I had betrayed the family. Okay? Uh, how could you get somebody that was once your friend to get ready to kill you? So that's what would have happened to Cassie had she stayed in that situation. Um, sh the fact that he paid the hotel staff 50000 for the footage lets you know. Just feel like you there's no way out. Another occasion in 2013, allegedly, he did he set up a freak off and was char and charged tens of thousands of dollars in damages by the hotel. Cassie was expected to facilitate the location and hiring of the male sex workers for the freak-offs, according to the lawsuit. And he got her hooked on drugs. Damn. She claimed that the freak-offs would often take place in hotel suites, including the London Hotel in Los Angeles. In the lawsuit stated that the freak off sometimes took place in the Mandarian Hotel in Miami. Uh, the truth, however, is that Miss Cassandra Ventura was held down by Mr. Combs and endured over a decade of his violent behavior and disturbed demands. For Mrs. Ventura, the dark times were those she spent trapped by Mr. Combs in a cycle of abuse violence, and sex trafficking. Among other violent and unlawful acts, Mr. Combs graped Miss Ventura in her own home after she tried to leave him, often punched, beat, kicked, and stomped on Miss Ventura, resulting in bruises, bursted lips, black eyes, and bleeding, blew up a man's car, which we later found was Kid Cuddy, allegedly, after he learned that he was romantically interested in Ventura, forced Miss Ventura to engage in sex acts with male sex workers while he masturbated and filmed the encounters, ran out of his apartment with a firearm in pursuit of a rival industry executive who he learned was nearby, demanded that Miss Ventura 
to carry his firearm in her purse just to make her uncomfortable and demonstrate how dangerous he is. Uh, kind of a la Jennifer Lopez. And he introduced Ms. Ventura to a lifestyle of an excess alcohol and substance abuse and required her to procure illicit prescriptions to satisfy his own addictions. It's over for you. Finally. I all good things must come to an end. And you really thought you had a good thing going on, didn't you? With your murderous, evil, just ranched behavior. I remember when she ran to her mom. I remember one of those stories. I can't um before they broke up. And she told her mom, I, I can't go back there. And he went to the mama house and tried to drag her out. Uh, uh, uh. She was in a fast-paced, drug-fueled lifestyle. And she was in a romantic relationship with him, her boss, one of the most powerful people in the entertainment industry, and a vicious, cruel, and controlling man, nearly two decades her senior. Mr. Combs asserted complete control over Ms. Ventura, personal and professional life, thereby ensuring her inability to escape his hold. Oh, God, this dude was so weak. So weak. It's, it's sad. He provided unprecedented just um madness for her mm, mm, mm. at certain points during miss uh during mrs ventura and mr Cone's relationship he would insist on an f o which is a freak off a uh weekly he would repeat, see, because see, after you do something for a while, you got, you know, it's not turning him on as much now. So now he got to step it up. So he would repeatedly tell Miss Ventura that this practice was our thing and our secret. This man, oh, with a woman, two years, 20 years, his junior. And the fact that he made her, he, he allegedly instructed her to use websites and escort services to find men with large black things is even more humiliating. I mean, just humiliating. You know, I'm going to let this go here because I'm, giving, I'm, you know, I'm about to go off script. And I hope he get everything he got coming to him. He would say things like grab that big black and ask her how does it feel. It became commonplace to get IV fluids in the days after it, uh, FO, to recover from the excessive substances pushed upon her. Every time I looked at her, I see the pain. I saw it. And I knew just what she was enduring. I see it in a lot of these young girls. I mean. I saw it. He allegedly used his phone, his laptop, to film these things. Uh, Cassie said she deleted the photographs and videos of the acts if they were taken on her phone, but claimed Diddy told her he kept many of them anyway. The lawsuit claims that he graped her in 2018 Forced his way into his apartment, her apartment, 
after dinner in Malibu. He allegedly tried to kiss her before forcibly removing her clothes and unbuckling his belt. He proceeded to grate Miss Ventura while she repeatedly said no and tried to push him away. You know what? I'm going to stop for the sake of that he has children. But most of y'all know y'all dad is a slime ball already. Those girls know it. Who Delilah Starr and Jesse James, y'all know it. Little Puffy, you know it. Christian, you know it. Justin, who I... Okay. I think you need a DNA test on him. Because I saw a picture of a dude that Gene Deal had. And it looked just like him. So, But we that's neither here nor there. He, y'all, y'all is going to go through some stuff right now. And if anybody I feel anything for is the humiliation that the, his off, his children are going to suffer because he's a damn freak. Ah, oh, God. All right, you guys. He's a disgusting old man. A disgusting piece of crap. Period. As far as I'm concerned. Y'all y'all can leave y'all comments and tell me how you feel. Because I'm done with him. And I let, let the games begin. Let him go to jail. Let him go to jail. And be. Um, held accountable. For what he did to these women. More specifically what he did to Cassie. Alright. If you like what you hear. Please subscribe. Share the channel. I'll see you in the next video.